Did you guys see ABC show a picture of NCT 127 while talking about BTS? Mark's voice echoed in my head from that one time he said, They're NCT! Yes! Get it together! Yes! And you know, mistakes happen. But a lot of people are seeing this as much more than just a simple mistake. Especially these days when you could just go on their official social media to get a picture of them. Or if you're someone like ABC, you probably own a lot of footage from their appearances on various ABC shows. Unless they throw all the K-pop footage into one folder. ABC, if you need someone to organize that folder, I'll happily volunteer as K-pop correspondent. And now to Daehyun with the weather. 남부 네. 지방은 어, 떨리네요. 전주 29도, 대구 30도 등으로 덥겠습니다. Although, can I do this job remotely? Because the situation we're in right now reminds me of when things started getting crazy back in March. Remember? We didn't even know if we were going to get any comebacks for a while. And now, just look at the past week. Six had to cancel their concert. TXT had to get tested after appearing on a show. A bunch of dramas had to suspend shooting, including Jisoo's drama. Apparently, an extra notified that they were in contact with a positive case, so the whole operation had to shut down. They did test and everyone seemed to have come back negative. They didn't specifically say who got tested, but I would say there's probably a good chance that Jisoo, as the lead actress, did. Honestly, I'm not expecting things to get better health-wise because if you guys remember from previous years, it's around this time of the year where idols start dropping out due to health issues anyway. And that's on top of the ones we already know like ATS's Minky, Twice's Jungyeon, and Niju's Mihi. Hopefully, they'll be able to join their members again, but obviously health comes first. However, when it comes to Red Velvet coming back, everybody's curious if it will be a full group comeback for a completely different reason. And SMC CEO, not Lee Su Man, actually touched on it at an event recently. He acknowledged there has been controversy, but that they sincerely apologized for it, concluding with the statement Red Velvet will be coming back soon with a more mature appearance. Now, he didn't say how many members that comeback will consist of, but when they showed a picture on the screen, it was all five members. I think this statement from SM CEO was shocking to a lot of people because Along with Irene's controversy, Espa just debuted, Boa is coming back, Shiny has been reunited, so most people did not expect to see Red Velvet anytime soon. But then again, the last time we officially saw Red Velvet as five was Christmas time 2019. It is now Thanksgiving 2020, at least in the US. By the way, in the spirit of giving thanks, you guys know every time we have an awesome sponsor like Audible, I always use that opportunity opportunity to give back because it would have never happened without you guys. And instead of albums this time, I'm giving away a bunch of light sticks, whichever one you want. You know the drill. Find Sogi's red pants somewhere in the rest of the video and please, please follow the directions on the screen exactly. Again, thank you so much to Audible for sponsoring this video. And you guys know Audible. They have an unmatched selection of all different kinds of audio products and titles. This could not have come at a better time because I have been itching to get Jessica's new New York Times bestseller, Shine. As a longtime fan of Jessica, Girls' Generation, and just K-pop in general, I'm dying to uncover more about the K-pop world from her unique perspective. We all know the characters are based on real life, and she even said the book is going to be like an Easter egg hunt. I cannot wait to dive into it. Now, I was already using Audible before this because it was great for hands-free listening, pop in some earbuds while I do research for the next video. The app is free, and I can listen across all my devices without losing my spot. But now is the best time to try their newest plan, Audible Plus, where you'll get full access to their Plus catalog that includes audiobooks, exclusive podcasts, and even guided wellness programs if you're trying to get fit without going to the gym. Audio Plus's holiday offer is $4.95 for the first six months, and then only $7.95 after that. Just go to audible.com slash kpopjunkie or text kpopjunkie to 500-500. You might as well get a 30-day free trial in free audiobook so we can talk about Jessica Shine 
together. And you'll get to keep the audiobook forever. Again, go to audible.com slash kpopjunkie or text kpopjunkie to 500-500. Now, a super, super interesting book to read would be of those who the court finally revealed to have been screwed over by Mnet and Produce 101. There's really no sugarcoating this. Each of these contestants' lives were affected by this manipulation. New East Bakyo with the timing of Produce 101 in his life and the passing of his father. Former after school's Kaen, who was manipulated out of the final lineup. Those are just two of the many names whose careers were forever affected by corruption. So when they say they're discussing how to compensate each and every one of these names, I don't know how you calculate a monetary value for that. From a broader view, it may look like, oh, they were just cheated out of a show. But when you realize the severity of how this may have changed the course of someone's life, maybe prison for those responsible doesn't seem so crazy after all. Now, they didn't reveal who benefited from the fraud because that would direct massive hatred toward those individuals who may have not had any idea what was going on. On top of that, Eyes One is still an active group and coming back soon as a matter of fact. Imagine the state of their emotions right now. But unfortunately, this isn't a new thing. It's even been a point of controversy for American TV shows. A lot of people say, man, the K-pop scene is getting too crazy these days. But you'd be surprised how widespread the problems you hear about in the K-pop world really are. Just last week, Harry Styles was getting bashed left and right for wearing dresses, kilts, and skirts for a Vogue photo shoot. And then coincidentally this week, Suga basically took a swing at toxic masculinity in an interview for Esquire where he expresses his unfondness of the culture where masculinity is defined by certain characteristics. And it's not just talk. Them and many idols have shown their stance on this. It's crazy because AB6's Dehui also talked about it recently, showing us that these problems can be found on all sides of the globe. Although a positive example of how we as a world are connected and opening up to each other is BTS finally getting that Grammy nomination. Dynamite was nominated for Best Pop Duo Slash Group Performance. And I know alongside the celebrations, there are also conversations of how this should have already happened with BTS's previous songs, albums. Trust me, I'm right there with you. I think K-pop music videos should populate a good portion of the best music video category because if you've seen my theories and breakdowns, I truly think they're top of the class. But for now, let's celebrate with the guys celebrate K-pop taking over with Stray Kids earning Time Magazine's 10 best songs of 2020. With all the things that have happened this year, we need to really hold on to the positives that come our way. And it seems like BTS's new music video for Life Goes On, who won this week's theory poll on my Instagram, is an extension of that message we've all been forced to learn this year. When it was announced that BTS's next album was going to be titled B, so many theorized what that could mean. Was it another installment of the Yourself series? Which would fit in perfectly as Be Yourself? Was it an acronym for something? For example, beginning to end. After all, this is the album that the BTS members have contributed to the most through every single step of its creation. Music, lyrics, art, concept photos, fashion, and overall direction. And according to them, B simply yet ambiguously represents being. Oftentimes, life is described as the pursuit of happiness. So we tend to forget that it's the periods of sorrow that truly make us appreciate the moments of bliss. And throughout every interview, live stream, and press conference, BTS have echoed that this album is not just a creation of theirs, it was also born out of the unfortunate circumstances we all currently live in. The very first shot of the music video is V wearing a mask. And yes, while many countries were already wearing masks on a day-to-day -day basis, the mask now defines the state of our world in 2020. This song and album is described as a page in a diary, an entry in a journal, a reflection of all of their thoughts and emotions when the world seemingly stopped this year. That's why you see so many mirror motifs in this music video, down to the one Suga intentionally put under his feet in his concept photo. At first, it's the fear and help they portray. Jungkook looks out to the world but is separated from it by the window. Similarly, RM looks out while visually blocked by the glass railing. 
However, the fact that we've all been isolated and separated has ironically connected us. We see the guys get together, play around, but most importantly, reminisce on what life was like before this. Illustrated by the different aspect ratio and film roll footage, a very intentional decision made by director Jungkook, and like all of us, they also wondered to themselves if this would ever end. Think about it. When your life and career revolves around performing and connecting with people, what does your life and existence mean now when that gets taken away? But while they sit there and ponder when they can get back to their normal lives, time will continue to go by. And according to BTS, when they realized this and were finally able to accept and embrace the situation, that's when they were able to live once again, start making music again. When Jin opens his eyes, I love the fact that they are not in front of a stadium full of people. Another idea that was presented during their brainstorm session, rather they ultimately decided to end the video with what a concert venue would look like right now. Because even though the world has changed, the connection between BTS and ARMY has not. That relationship between them and their fans is what emotionally guided them toward the light at the end of the tunnel. Throughout the music video, we see them in a car but never do we get a sense of where they're going. And that's because the purpose of this seemingly endless road trip is not the destination. It's about the journey, the ups, the downs. It's to show us that no matter what, life goes on.